Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Softcore Brony, welcoming you back to Let's Play Mother 3. Yes, let's get DP, because I have locks, which I could have used to buy more Aloha coats, I realize, because those could be useful in the near future. But anyway, since last time I went ahead and sold, uh, well, rearranged my items and sold some things, primarily the alarm cicadas that I didn't end up needing, and Ocho ended up only holding, well, he was only holding a, a bomb <laughs> that uh, Boney's currently holding now, so anyway... Oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. Wait, wait, wait. No, not now. Yeah, I'm sure we will have a mutually profitable counter uh, very soon, but uh, one more thing I almost forgot. You know what? Why not? Uh, I can, uh, I'm, I'll be able to tell you what I'm going to use anyway. Uh, I would actually keep the magic gloves right now. I mean, I'm not going to be really be using her physical attack much as it is, but... Uh, yeah, I would be keeping the magical gloves right now for reasons I'll be telling you uh, right now. Anyway, we have a few new items uh, here. Well, they always have the sincerity dumplings, but we have the spiky weapon, which uh, all three of these guys here can use, as you can see. Uh, I would not bother getting this for Lucas because we're going to get a slightly stronger weapon for him in the extremely near future. You could get it for Kumatora. It's debatable. Uh, it, she does have a usable attack power at this point, but uh, I like the 10 PP a little bit better, personally, so I wouldn't have gotten this anyway and kept the magical gloves. Uh, obviously, if you don't have the mystical shoes, get this, but it's only 7 points stronger than the mystical shoes, so I wouldn't bother if you do have those. Uh, Feather Charm, only 3 points stronger than the, uh, the, tr the, what, what were those, the, yeah, Fire Pendants, or whatever Pendants you might have right now, so I wouldn't bother with this either. Uh, Libra Bracelet, uh, I actually am gonna get this finally for Lucas, I'm gonna trade in that old Gemini Bracelet, it's done me some good, but the lack of defense is finally starting to show. And then Kumatora already has, uh, I think it's the Virgo bracelet that I already have for her. Uh, so uh, that is only slightly less defensive and it gives her a nice PP boost. And then I also want to get this for uh, Duster there. So otherwise we have double jerky that we can buy now. Don't need any of those. Yeah, you can get these if you need them. I, I guess these could be useful, really. But bug spray, if you don't have at least one or at least two bug sprays, you might want to buy one because you should have at least one from walking around. I actually have one in storage from a little while ago, which I'm going to get out right now. Because there's at least a few uh, enemies around that you can use them on. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. I have the trivia card 3 that I don't need anymore. Uh, let's see. Withdraw. Depending on what level you're going to be at, you may want the rubber capes. And also the aloha coat, which I'm giving to Kumatora as you... Uh, as you see, I'm giving the rubber cape to you, and then Bony... Oh, my other bug spray, there you are. Only three of those, huh? I don't have another... Yeah, I don't have any of the other, uh, mementos at the moment, so okay. Yep, 100% from the sidelines, blah blah blah. So, oh yeah! Oh yeah, that's what that, uh, that's who Pusher was right there, obviously. Now right now, uh, all the enemies around here have disappeared. So we are free to go back over to the hot spray eggs. Secrets, eh? What's this? And also pick up that item up there if you didn't get it. Uh, oh. So that's why Boney didn't want to go in. We can actually still go in and Boney won't, but, uh... Yeah, the Tane Tane Toss Springs are up here where the mirror was. <laughs> so, free healing, which uh, I'll take advantage of. And uh, I'll make my way back to... Well... Uh, Missy's house right here, right now. So, I'll meet you there. Alrighty. So, over here... Well, what am I equipped with right now? Might as well show it off. Yeah, that's why I don't care for that other item. So... Yeah, awesome crown if you... Yeah, you should have that. Yeah, yeah, it was the Virgo bracelet. So I'm equipped like this for now. Obviously, you... Well, we'll either want the magical gloves or possibly the spiky weapon right now, depending on your preference. 
And then, yeah, we're... Did I sell the magical gloves? Well, if I didn't, I will eventually. Anyway, we have old enemies here, or at least one. The Scampering Mushroom, he's pretty easy now, although he's still faster than us for some annoying reason. Thank you for not getting that on Duster. Wow, that wasn't very good at all. Oh. Well, yeah, Kumator is kind of strong right now, but whatever. I could still be defeat it with just Duster and Boney alone if I had actually timed that well. And I'm actually going to fight this other guy, too, so... Anyway, moving on, we got these two guys. Uh, you don't necessarily want to find them both together. But uh, this is the reason I have the bug spray, or where is it? Yeah, that bug spray, because I actually have two of them. Uh, yeah, go ahead and use it on him, would you? Bam. Oh. Yeah, the reason I have two... Alright, and then, yeah, go ahead and Siren Beetle him. I should have done that to begin with. Oh well. Anyway, these guys are easy enough to deal with, so... Though I still can't time that song for anything. Eesh. Anyway, more mushrooms, or a mushroom. Anyway, out here we have a new enemy who... He doesn't exactly run around randomly. We have the unwelcome guest, who is weak to lightning and also apparently duster. But, uh, yeah, obviously that's not going to happen every single time. He is 100% affected by paralysis, so you could do that if need be. And, uh, there's a, he's a pretty good chance of being hit by sleep, 80% for a Kumatora, and I think that equates to something like 76 to duster. And then wall staples also have a 75% chance of working, so... Too bad otherwise, but I'm just gonna siren beetle him since that's also the same rate of staples. Oh yeah, he'll hit three characters relatively hard with that. Oh, come on, I can do better than that. Oh, well. Well, this is gonna well, her damage is gonna make this a little bit easier, but I can't hear the beat because it was gone for that turn. Come on, come back, beat. I need to hear you. There we go. Oh, he was almost dead anyway. But anyway, yeah, that was the beat right there. I guess I could maybe try putting more enemies to sleep, but... Hey, you guys can put them to sleep too, I guess. <laughs> if need be. It's not like I'm perfect at these. They may be pointless, but I kind of like them anyway. Anyway, up here, a little bit more dangerous. There we are. Got two of these guys, so... Yeah, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, Kumatora, even though every single time I've tried this before, you've always missed at least once. Yeah, go ahead and hit them with that. You try to wall staple at least the one guy. Oh, wow, I still can't do it. Ow. Oh, grinning makes him do nothing, so... There we go. Every time, it always only hits once. Don't know why, but this is, in my opinion, the overall best way to deal with these guys. I got plenty of PP healing items, so... Oh, by the way, you don't necessarily need the, uh... You know, the, the, thun the rubber capes or the Aloha coat and all that, but they will be nice. Or the pendants, for that matter. Sheesh. Wow, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of damage to Kumatora there. I see, this guy has... 598 HP, so... Not as much as the Monkle Wrist, but second highest around. Outside of the boss, of course. That worked out pretty well. Alright, cool.
Well, just pretend she has the spiky weapon on, because it's... Oh, it's not that way. Because it would have a relatively similar, uh, offense. Other than the fact that I haven't been paying attention to Boney's HP, this, uh, last two battles went pretty smoothly. Let's see. Yeah, you need HP too, actually. Oh, wow. So do you. Well, since I haven't been paying attention to their HP at all, yeesh. Anyway, in this uh, present, we get the Vigor Stick, which is the reason I didn't need the Spiky Weapon, because this is uh, three points stronger than the Spiky Weapon there, so good for Lucas there. Oh, wow, his offense is great. <laughs> Even without the old Gemini Brace, that would have that would have left him with 150 right now, I believe, so... Anyway. Ah, yeah, if you wander too far off, these guys respawn. Well, that went much more smoothly than last time, and I believe I already went up that way, so let's see. I want to go this way to pick up the Swallow Bandana for Duster. Not that it'll really do him that good right now, because I don't believe there are any more uh, enemies in the way. Yeah, just a little bit better boost there, so good for him. And then right over here, we have a Save Frog, who you will probably want to use. And in fact, I actually want to, uh, no, nah, I'm good. No, we're good. I actually want to, uh, rearrange my equipment slightly for once, so I'm going to do that real quick and be right back. Alrighty, I'm back, and... I realize that due to the prevalence of physical, of mostly physical-based bosses in the game thus far, uh, there's a certain aspect I've neglected to mention, and that is in relation to Psy Shield and Psy Counter. Uh, unlike the last game where they completely nullified damage, this time uh, from you know Psy attacks, this time they only cut the damage in half. Uh, this one does too, even though it doesn't specifically say so. Uh, so they're nowhere near as abusive as they were in the previous game, especially since with the, you know, lack of, you know, prevalence of, uh, Psy-based enemies. But uh, anyway, one thing, uh, the other thing I want to mention now is that, uh, regarding your equipment is based purely on what level you're at. Uh, if I were at level 45, which clearly I'm not, or specifically Lucas, uh, Luca, he would have, uh, Psy Shield Omega. In which case, I would equip, uh, no, 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 equip, I would equip the rubber capes to everyone except for Boney, because he can't equip them, and, uh, you know, use that, because this next battle is purely magical, <laughs> you don't need, uh, physical defense at all. Uh, if you don't have that, then I would suggest, uh, flame protection, I have the Aloha coat on Kumatora, it would have been more ideal to have that for all three of them. Uh, but, you know, that's the way it goes. So, otherwise, these are not strictly necessary if you don't have them, and obviously the Thunder Pendant also would work if you don't have, uh, the rubber ca capes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they're not strictly necessary, but, uh, I would- they're, uh, at least suggestible. Against, uh, yeah, these guys. Yeah, the Barrier Trio, which I don't think Missy specifically mentions, like, by name, like, the way that Kumatora is addressing them. And each one of the names is carved here. Barrier Man, Barrier Gal, Barrier Dude. I don't know how you're supposed to tell the difference between them besides that, but... Well, kinda. But yeah, the Barrier Trio, who attack as one enemy, there's, not, there's all three of them together. So, like I said, this is a purely magical uh, fight, so offense down is totally useless. Uh, furthermore, <laughs> uh, they are not affected by any status effects whatsoever, including flame and uh, frozen. So, there's not a whole lot you can really do to weaken them. So, what I want to start doing is uh, use... Psy well, I could use Psy Counter, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead with Psy Shield, since my, you know, PP isn't that high. Oh, I guess I could have healed my PP a little bit, especially with Kumatora there, but oh well. Uh, <laughs> oh, dang it. Yeah, I'm gonna use it on Boney, since he doesn't have, uh, you know, any elemental protection at all. Although, yeah, you could do it, uh, Psy Shield Omega, if you have it, obviously. And then I'm going to start by using Defense Down. 
because besides the fact that it, that this is the uh, effective on them, since you know you, we will be getting physical attacks, uh, it's really a good idea to keep this up because as long as they are uh, are inflicted with defense down, they are fairly likely to try to use defense up, which it will keep them from doing anything nasty to you. Now we want to use the shield snatcher because they start off with a barrier, which they will not reinitiate. Now on this first turn, the barrier trio will take half damage from all elemental attacks, excluding, of course, the, well, PK Harmony for me, but PK Love abilities. But on this first turn, they are going to strike a pose, or one of them is going to call out, and they're going to strike a pose, which is always going to be the same pose, technically, uh, at least visually, anyway. But pay attention here. Oh, good, that worked back there. But yeah, pay attention here to which one of them calls out, which apparently they're really, really slow. In my case, it is Barrier Gal, which is really good. But yeah, one of them will call out Barrier Man, Barrier Gal, Barrier Dude. And whichever one of them calls out, uh, they are going to become weak to one particular element and completely negate the other two. Uh, in, uh, so for if Fire Man calls out, they'll be weak to fire. If Fire uh, <laughs> Barrier Dude calls out, they'll be weak to thunder. And in my case, I'm really fortunate because Barrier Gal called out and they're weak to freeze. So they will now nullify fire and ice elements, but I happen to have freeze g <laughs> gamma, so yeah. So... Do I want to use Size Shield on Kumatora? Because they're... They will use the beta and gamma versions of all three elements, regardless of which pose they call out. So... Uh, Kumatora is susceptible to the ice <laughs> rather heavily, since she doesn't have that much HP, but you know what? I'll play it risky. Let's do start offense up Omega. Uh, Kumatora, you start using Freeze Gamma. And you keep up the Tickle Stick. And you had go ahead and use that bomb since I happen to have it. Boom! Very effective. Alright! Sweet! Boom! And because their defense is down, they will frequently try to do this, but not always. So you want to keep the tickle stick going. Otherwise, you also want to keep your HP above about 150 because of the way the fight ends. And I'm going to go ahead and do another offense up. Keep up with the freeze, keep the tickle stick going, and you start attacking, Boney. And I cannot do this song for anything. I haven't been able to figure out the beat on it. I don't know if it's the do do do, but yeah, I usually don't get more than I usually can't even combo once, sadly. All right, yeah, they're not doing anything to me, fortunately, so all is well. You know what? Since I can't combo for squat in this battle, why don't I do that one more time? Obviously, if you are good at combos, then Kumatora's physical attack will probably be better. All right, keep up the tickle stick. Yeah. Bam. All right, broke that pose, so now they are uh, down, or they are back to having all elemental damage minus harmony. Wow, I'm already this far into the battle, <laughs> thanks to freeze, <laughs> which is the most effective thing you could do against them in this case. Let's see, they're gonna call out Barrier Gal again. Wow. Well, I'm really fortunate. They only have 4,000 HP, so... Looks like I'm gonna get through this pretty much scot-free. Good grief. Did they... Tickles? Did... They didn't do anything because I broke them, right? So, okay, go for it. Yeah. Can't do it for squat. Oh, well, got it once. Oh, thunder. Ow. Ow. Don't hit Lucas. Ow. Yeah. Yeah, you attack. Freeze. And yeah, you start, uh... What's my least one? Hot Springs Egg. You eat that. I think I have another one of those or something. Uh, oh, the tofu. Get that to Lucas. Want to keep his HP above 150 there. 
Boom. Alrighty. Obviously, if you fail at the uh, the tickle stick, then you're going to want to do def uh, defense down <laughs> as soon as possible. Uh, let's see. Okay, go for it. Ah. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, but that means they're probably dead. So. And when they're dead. Oh, no, no. I guess not. Okay, barrier man, so they're weak to fire now. I guess they wised up finally. Okay, never mind. Forget that. So they're weak to fire now. Uh, oh. Except I want to. I know she's low on PP, but I actually. I don't think I'm gonna need to heal that, so. Let's do that again, too, because I think they got that up twice, didn't they? Oh. Yeah, now I think they're dead. Oh, I guess they didn't get up to us. Yeah, now they will concentrate on this turn. <laughs> of course I didn't now. Go ahead and guard, even though it's not going to help too much, because on this turn... Star Storm! Ow, ow, ow. And run away. Concentrate or guard, either way, it doesn't matter. They're going to concentrate and try again, and they are going to fail. So keep running or defending. They struck one final barrier pose. And it was spectacular. And then they died. So yeah, that went really smoothly. Alrighty. Nice. And we get lots of experience points, which I could have increased by using a... Uh, enemy bufferizer, but I don't have any of those anymore, and I, I can only get those at the lab, so... <laughs> ah. Nice. Oh, good. Everyone got a level up. And he's cut up pretty well now. He's only three levels behind Boney and Lucas now. Sweet. He'll probably remain about that for the rest of the game, too. Kind of sounded like the Golem Roar, but just a little different. What the... Were you guys waiting in ambush, or what? Crud! We're just gonna stand here and do, and just watch, aren't we? We could be pulling the needle right now, but no. Oh, wow. Oh, you guys. You're the majors, aren't you? Really? A red carpet. Wow. Oh boy. Guess we're gonna have to go into another battle already. Oh man, I'm gonna have to heal my uh, PP there. Kumatora's low on it. Hey, dude. Oh! Ow! Jerks. Uh oh. No, wait, wait. Oh. By the power of Gray Skull. No. He got another one. He got a third one. Dang, we've only pulled two. Wow, they took off fast. Um, until the lightning wears off.
Yeah, you're right about that. That totally was. Dang! Nope. I guess so. Yeah? Really? Nothing? Huh. Oh, yeah, Ocho. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to walk all the way back to the beach. Uh, but we will get the uh, Missy's razor and lit stick, though. Which, of course, works like all the other ones, so... What's that? Oh? Well, they're not fuzzy pickles, but okay. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, well, we kind of already... Well, actually, no, I guess we don't yet. But... Oh, okay. Anyway. Oh. Farewell. Bye, B, or whatever the other guys say. So, yeah, that didn't go so well, but... Well, we'll just have to, uh... Yeah, get back to Tasmili Village then. Next time on Let's Play Mother 3. Arrivederci.